Vanessa Baxter is going to join me a little bit later on in the show in the kitchen and we've got this fantastic recipe from this beautiful new book so we've got sticky beer, beer braised beef and look at this we've got some Asian uh, flavors coming through here so this is going to be a real treat you see the, uh, the garlic the ginger star anise in there and a little bit of chili paste so that's going to uh, that's going to be a real treat for Mike a bit later on in the show. <laughs> uh, so it looks great. We've got one pot there. I think we're going to cook it all in one pot. It's just going to take time to cook to get all those flavours out. So really simple, really tasty, and I'm looking forward to this recipe. Back to you, Mike. Great to be joined in the Bico Kitchen with Vanessa Baxter. How are you? I am very well. Thank thanks, you for having thanks me. Thanks for all the good gossip well. over there. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> I know it's great. I'm going to take on board what you said. I'm not going to strive for perfection. Just going to make exactly, it good. Exactly. That's Which, exactly <laughs> right. By saving grace, Mark. <laughs> Today, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to be making a recipe from Ronald McDonald House Charities, the Supper Club recipe book. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, it's amazing. And you chose to put which recipe in this book? I've got the sticky bear braised beef mm. in there. I've got a couple of recipes in there, actually. Oh, but wicked. This is the one that we're cooking today. And it's a great uh, recipe book because it's over 100 recipes compiled from over 50 different restaurants and chefs all around New Zealand. Nice. And each of those contributors has also contributed to cooking for the Supper Club, which raises funds and awareness for Ronald McDonald House. So everyone's coming together for the common cause of raising money for a great charity. Yeah, and, and on top of that, people yeah. get to cook from it. Say, the great thing is we get to eat as well. I love exactly. it. Exactly. And Mark, he, you know, he's put out a few cookbooks. Uh, that's a, Mark and I were just saying how beautiful the book is. Yeah, it's a really beautiful book. It was uh, put together by Renee Lang. Uh, she's a very, very well known from Renaissance Publishing. Uh, but actually it was three franchisees that decided to put the book together great. to raise awareness. And also to thank those of us, um, I know Mark's cooked for the Supper Club, I've cooked for the Supper Club, to just say, hey, these are all the people who constantly cook for the Supper Club and let's give them a bit of a shout out and here are some recipes from them you can try at home. So it's a really great idea and initiative. Right, well I'll just stand back. another great idea, yeah. look at this. Yeah. Crushing the garlic. Crushing the garlic with, with fork. fork. Yeah. You just pop your thumb there and just uh, do it. It's great for people at home and it means that you don't get all those little bits of garlic stuck in the tines of your garlic press, which drives me crazy. So yeah, I always use Great for pork. people at work. I'm going to use that next week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. Nice work. Good okay, what else do we need to do to get this underway? Right, we're going to start Smoking with the beef. So you get a really hot pan, a yep. little bit of oil there. Okay, okay cool. Now, oh, so wow, this is turn. fabulous. So I'll yep. just step back and have and a little bit of a chat then. So look at this. A <laughs> I know that that's probably a bit more than a little bit. But. <laughs> we've got so this is, beef brisket. Uh, yeah, so we've got beef brisket here. So this is great great one for braising you know so really uh, meaty um, sort of selection of uh, meat but you're really tough tough muscle so you've got to cook it long and slow so perfect for this recipe and it's an affordable cut of meat too isn't yeah, it? yeah and, and fairly affordable yeah. it's getting trendy now so it's getting prices going up now so okay. it's just making it trendy and we make it a uh, really hot pan yes yeah, so a really hot pan uh, you're going to seal it, you're going to brown it, so we want that colour on there. You put a little bit of salt and pepper as you go in, just lightly, because we've got soy sauce to add and some okay. chilli bean yeah. paste. Um, so just be careful on the amount of um, seasoning you put in at the beginning. Yeah. Cool. Because what else? The uh, soybean paste and the chilli paste, along with the soy sauce, all add quite a lot of salt. So that's the perfect amount to start <laughs> with. And then don't re-season until the end, I would say, because exactly. you're also slow cooking. And it and really it's becomes saltier the longer you cook it. Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's reducing as well and, and, mm. and flavouring. What else can you show us in 30 seconds? This is actually a really uh, a dish that I've often <laughs> cooked actually at Ronald McDonald House because you can put it on in the morning and let it slow oh, cook yeah, there. Nice. And it's really great for the families because it's like really nurturing comfort food. And it's full of flavour as well. Yeah, right? it's full and of flavour. That's what you want, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Ronald McDonald House is they actually look after over 3,700 families each year. Wow. So there's a load of families moving through there. And, you know, it's a really fantastic place for families to be able to have some reality of just regular life while their child's being looked after at yeah. the hospital. And, and have some decent food and get some decent yeah. food in the environment so this is a great recipe to cook cool. and we're going to find out more very soon we'll get you the next steps to making Vanessa's sticky beef and we'll tell you how you can win one of the amazing recipe books that's right you can win it right here we'll tell you how just after we catch up with Holly mm. we are into making the sticky beef from this incredible recipe book which we're going to give away very soon so keep watching we're into stage two of our sticky braised beef Right, that's it. So we brown the meat, so yep. nice colouring on the meat. Take it out. Um, you've still got a little bit of oil in the pan. Do it all in the same pan because you've got a little bit of sediment from the beef. That's going to come up now as we're mm. cooking it. The um, garlic and the ginger's coming up, just um, you know, slowly sweating down on a, a lower heat. So turn the heat down a little bit, just um, get all those uh, aromatic flavours coming out now. Nice work. And look at this, we've got a cinnamon stick. Star anise goes in there, so that's going to give us flavour as it cooks. 
Um, obviously, you want to take them out before you serve it, or just be careful mm. when you eat it and <laughs> because don't Because they do bite break up a little bit. So if you cook it for a really long time, what will happen is they will break down a little bit. So okay. if you don't get all of them out, you just need to let your guests know. Is that that if, myth? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that you don't want people breaking your tooth. Exactly. And it looks like it's quite uh, chunky when it goes in there, Mike. But what happens is after the slow cooking. The beef really breaks down right. and, and it becomes beautiful and stringy, which we'll show later. Yeah, so it's almost like a pulled a pulled beef, yeah, isn't it, really? It is. it's it's totally just full is. of flavour. Right, so that was some uh, bean paste and some chilli bean paste. So that goes in now mm. as well. So we're keeping it quite dry, coat mm. all the meat, keep smells cooking good, it. Doesn't it. Honestly, this smells incredible, very mm. aromatic and quite fast too, actually. You know, well, it's really fast really and it's one pan. And I was just saying to Mark earlier, the great thing about this recipe is you can do it on the stove, you can do it in the oven, in a, you know, just into a nice uh, potted, uh, lidded pot in the oven. Yeah. You can do it in a slow cooker, of course, pop nice. it in in the morning and head off to work. Or if you're in a hurry, you can actually do it in a pressure cooker and reduce the time yeah, right so down by brilliant. the... Yeah, you know, it's it only takes a bit of the time. It'll yeah. take about an hour, I reckon. And so mm. a bit of sugar you just so put there's in a, there? a little bit of sugar in yeah, there, so that's right. going to help make it nice and sticky. Oh, yeah. Soy oh, sauce for the seasoning. And What's that? dark beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I have dark lager in there. Brilliant. And that's great. You know, we're going to cook it for such a long time, all the alcohol is going to go off mm. it, but it's just going to left with this beautiful, rich, um, exactly. deep flavour. And a, a little bit of beef stock goes in there as well. So bring all that to the boil. We'll turn it down and then we'll just cook it really slowly on whichever method you um, decide. Okay, so brilliant. the great thing is, this is in the cookbook, there's so many fabulous recipes in there. I've also got a little uh, banoffee pie recipe in the cookbook as well, so that's something you nice. You can come back could... next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like something banoffee nice pie. to finish off for dessert, a little brilliant. sweet treat. Jeez, I love it when you and. visit. Okay, great. Uh, so. What else do we need and to do? So, so, so fast forward time in TV land. Yeah. This is what the beef looks like. So you can see all the sauce is just reduced down. It's flaked up, and that is great. You know, you can put that on your tacos, serve mm. it with rice, whatever you want. How do you how do you get it like that though? Do you just use oh. a fork and rip it? No, because you keep cooking it off. Mm. The it, the meat uh, will just become so It'll break soft. Down. Right. Yeah. So basically, you cook it with the lid on to start with. For the last 20 minutes, take the lid off and really let it simmer away, and the meat just will naturally fall apart like that. It's it is, so yeah. yummy. It's, make, it's great for a bun me or something as well, Mark. Oh, like into oh. a crusty baguette. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. And we're obviously going to finish it off with a bit of coriander and some sesame yeah, seed. Yeah, or some Thai basil or Vietnamese nice. meat. Nice. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, we'll see that towards the end of the show. Finished, ready to eat. Yes, I'm so lucky. <laughs> Love it. Okay, the Supper Club recipe book is available for purchase now from the website, which you can see on screen. And please purchase it because not only are you to get great recipes, but you're supporting a great cause. 100% of the funds raised from the Supper Club recipe book will go towards Ronald McDonald House Charities New Zealand. And we're lucky enough to have two of the Supper Club books to give away. Just head to our Facebook page for your chance to win. So we're just serving it, just some rice, chop some coriander over the top and some toasted sesame seeds and that is job done. You guys want to try it? Oh, I'd uh, love to. Do a silly question. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. There you go. Thanks, guys, so much. Ooh, yum. And remember, you can win one of two copies of The Supper Club on our Facebook page, or you can go and buy one to help Ronald McDonald House Charities just suss it out online.